here people have not just lost a father, they've lost the whole family, entire family, brother, sister, mother, father. So I know what I felt and this is much worse than that. And it's not one person who's feeling it, it's thousands of people who are feeling it. So uh, it's, a, it's very, very sad. And I think we all owe these people respect, affection, and we should all be standing with them. And I'm very proud that a lot of people are standing with the people of Wynar. In fact, the whole nation's attention is towards Wynar. And I'm sure that the whole nation is going to help the people of Wynar. Thank you very much. I uh, feel very similar to what my brother feels. We have spent the whole day meeting people who have suffered. It's an immense tragedy. We've met uh, a little boy who was holding on for six hours trying to save his mother and he failed. Not just his mother, his whole family. His whole family. And he managed to save his grandmother, but he failed to save his mother. You can only, we can only imagine the kind of pain that people are suffering. And as my brother said, they have lost their entire families. So we are here to give as much comfort and support as we can, to help in any way we can. And I am also very proud to see how everybody is coming together, not just from Wayanad and from Kerala, but from the whole country to help everybody who is going through this. And I think that at times like this, all of us should just uh, do everything that we can to support our countrymen and those who are suffering. There's been a big tragedy in Himachal as well today. I think perhaps over 40 people have passed away there as well in a very similar situation. So our condolences and uh, wishes for them also to get over this tragedy as best they can and all our support and help to everybody and I just uh, have no words actually. Yeah, there are so many kids, excuse me, uh, there are so many kids who, who lost their whole family. Do you have anything in mind, anything in mind for them? So we are, our uh, state governments have also offered help. We are helping from here and of course uh, the administration here is also doing all they can. And when we're here tomorrow, we're thinking of sitting down and just chatting out how many affected people there are, what all we can do, what help is coming, how much support is coming, and how we can assist, especially the children who are left on their own. I think one thing is very clear that everybody who has been affected who is living in this area, most of them are saying that they don't want to go back and live in the same area because it's not the first time it's happened there. So I think uh, we'll have to think of some solution where they can be rehabilitated.